Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Imagine you live in a cotton or aluminum house without any windows or any other source of light. Now, picture yourself performing simple tasks like cooking, cleaning, or changing a diaper in complete darkness. Would that be easy? If you're here today, I imagine that no matter what your reality growing up was, you have had many late nights putting your bright ideas on a piece of paper, or probably studying if you have had the privilege to attend school. Did you use a lamp or a light bulb to be able to read and write during those long nights? In many places, young people like us who want to do the exact same thing have to spend the night in the nearest gasoline station because that's the only place with the lights on the entire night. This has a direct impact in their performance, their safety, and their sleep. Beyond the, house the household space, a community without light means fewer opportunities to open small businesses, clinics, or schools. It means the inability to walk safely through a road at night or to adequately use public spaces to practice, for example, sports or arts and have a healthy leisure time. Throughout my life, I have worked with people from all ages and, and backgrounds. Denise mentioned a few of them, addicts, convicts, migrants, gypsies, indigenous, amongst other communities facing inequality at different levels. We have worked together finding solutions to tackle different problems. But something that all of these groups had in common was the lack of access to proper energy. And as a consequence, their opportunities were profoundly diminished. Modern energy services are crucial to human well-being and to a country's economic development. And yet, 1.2 billion people around the world live without access to electricity. This reality led me to co-found Leader of Light Mexico, part of the Leader of Light global open source movement that repurposes plastic bottles, like the ones I see over here, to create affordable and sustainable lamps that work with solar power. These light bottles, as we call them, work as a day and night light source, and they are, they are composed of a solar cell a battery, a simple electronic circuit, and the plastic bottle that acts as the light bulb. The most important part is that everyone can learn how to do it with materials that are locally available, and they can be empowered <coughs> to replicate it as many times as needed. Innovation is our everyday challenge. And I am very happy to share today some of our improvements. The amazing team of Leader of Light Mexico came up with a way to include a USB charger in these lamps made out of plastic bottles to allow its users to charge a mobile device and also stay connected to the world. Our projects in Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, the Dominican Republic, and Peru have impacted the lives of over 10,000 people by installing almost 1,000 solar lamps. <laughs> Thank you. This has confirmed something for me. Simple things are extraordinary. Yes, clean, affordable, and sustainable energy doesn't mean a titanic piece of infrastructure necessarily. And us women 
have a key role to play in making these solutions possible. Thank you. A plastic bottle of soda, water, or juice, like the ones you and I consume every day, can become a light source for someone. Something that otherwise would be garbage can significantly improve a family's life and have a positive impact on the environment by helping reduce the usage of fossil fuels. <clears throat> so, the topic of this plenary, what is holding back the clean energy revolution? If you ask me, it is that we are failing to realize how we can, tra how we can transform everyday items in novel yet simple ways to make impactful change. I decided to advocate for ecological and low-cost lighting solutions around the world because I am committed to achieve the sustainable development goals and leave no one behind. Our solution, Leader of Light, is one out of many possible ones. And I know the One Young World community can join us and many others to end energy poverty by 2030. I know that together we can have a tremendous impact. Simple things are extraordinary. Thank you very much. <laughs>